Okay, so we're here at Habitat 3. Um, it's been over 18 months in the making, and we, and we at IID have been supporting partners in various discussions and events over the last three days. Um, during those discussions, we've, we've really demonstrated that civil society organisations, city governments, municipal authorities have the capacity to drive grassroots up upgrading processes and play a meaningful role in um, implementing the new urban agenda. And I guess we've just been left with two questions really as we draw towards the end of the week. One is whether or not there'll be sufficient political commitment to ensure that these actors can play a meaningful role in implementing the new urban agenda. And two, whether or not there'll be sufficient resources available um, to support these actors to play that role. Um, and I guess if, you, if we're thinking about the political um, support that's required, um, what we're looking for is uh, sufficient devolved or, um, autonomy to city governments to be able to make those planning decisions and to work with civil society organisations and also that the civil society organisations, particularly federations of the urban poor, um, are recognised as actors that should, be play, that should play a role in this process. And then there's a question of money. Um, yesterday we hosted an event with exactly that title, Show Me the Money, where we, in partnership with uh, Shack Slum Dwellers International, demonstrated some of the extensive work that federations of the urban poor have been undertaking over the last 10 or 15 years in terms of upgrading, getting basic services into informal settlements. But we were still left with a question at the end of the day. Will there be sufficient finance to support these organisations to really play a meaningful role in implementing the new urban agenda over the next 20 years?